For GCSE Geography, our river basin case study is the River Tees. The River Tees is in northern England with its source at Crossfell on a mountain there and ending at the North Sea. You will already be familiar with some of the features along the River Tees in its upper course, middle course and lower course. In its upper course you'll be familiar with V-shaped valleys such as those found on and around Cross Fell. Also in the upper course, high force waterfall. Further down the river in the middle course we've got meanders such as the meander at the town of Yarm. And then in the lower course features such as floodplains and levees near Stockton upon Tees. But for this video we're focusing on river management. Management is mainly about reducing flooding, sometimes it's also for making hydroelectric power. Flooding is hugely disruptive and often has a high economic cost and so to try to prevent flooding humans will manage rivers quite carefully. An example in the upper course of the River Tees is Cow Green Reservoir. This large reservoir built behind the dam provides reliable water for industries such as some of the factories downstream. It also supplies thousands of homes with a reliable source of water. This also helps to control the flow of the river which prevents flooding downstream. On the negative side some would say it's an eyesore on the landscape. It's also filling up with silt. Many tributaries join the river after the dam and so whilst this may reduce flooding it won't prevent flooding completely because extra water is always going to be added from the tributaries after the dam. In the middle course an example of management can be found at Yarm. Yarm is the town located in the middle of the meander and so it's particularly prone to flooding and it suffered serious floods in 1995. Since then 2.1 million pounds was spent on flood defences. This included 32 floodgates to try to reduce the risk of flooding to 500 homes and they've also lined the riverbanks in places with rock cages called gabions. Now the negative of this is arguably it's quite a costly scheme for just 500 homes and they're not going to protect the homes if there's a really large flood. The gabions are quite ugly and quickly go rusty. The scheme was put to its test in 2023 when Storm Babbitt hit. Storm Babbitt led to roads to flooding but no properties were damaged and so arguably the scheme has been a success so far. An example of management in the lower course is the River Tees Barrage. This is an artificial barrier which costs 54 million. They can open and close floodgates on the river in order to control the flow of water. If a tidal surge is imminent, that's when the, a storm means the seawater could be flowing up the river and causing flooding, they can close the floodgates to reduce the risk of flooding. In the same way, if there's floodwaters coming down the river, again they can use the floodgates to control the flow of water. To further reduce the risk of flooding, they planted 100,000 trees and shrubs, and these can intercept rainwater, slow the water down from getting to the river, and so that again reduces the risk of flooding. An economic benefit is the barrage has led to tourist activities like kayaking in the river and there's also a cafe. On the negative side, £54 million is quite a high cost. The barrage was designed to last for 120 years but with climate change things like storm surges, tidal surges could get worse and more regular and that could shorten its lifespan.